Hi Dixons, I'm John Gilbert, Vice Principal here at Dixons Trinity Chapel Town. And I'm Adam Clough, I'm the Head of French and an Associate AVP. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you haven't done so already please do subscribe to the channel, uh, use the like function or comment below to tell us which episodes have been most useful for you or what you would like to see on the channel next. In this video we're going to explain how to implement show call into your classrooms as a key instruction routine that will support the progress of your students and the development of self-regulated reflective learners. Show call involves taking students written work and displaying it to the class by using a visualiser and this is not done randomly but it's rather with a really clear um, outcome of global improvement in mind and there are multiple ways of doing this. Before we get into the detail of show call it's important to explain its purpose. Show call enables you as a teacher to assess the content and quality of student work as carefully and as rigorously as you do their verbal work. Show call therefore provides the teacher with a platform to guide an entire class to edit and refine their own work for the better. When normalised as part of the everyday classroom practice, there are many benefits to show call. So one of those benefits is that it maximises accountability and rigour. Publicly reviewing written work on a regular basis incentivises students to do their best whenever they put pen to paper. If a student knows that their work may be displayed to the rest of the class, they're more likely to put their best foot forward. It also normalises better. By consistently guiding students to redraft and improve the quality of their written work, the teacher is sending the message that it is normal to be self-critical and reflective. Over time, this becomes the student's default working setting which we know develops their ability to self-regulate. One of the most important benefits in my mind is that it reduces student anxiety because often in a classroom of high expectations student anxiety or, or more specifically the fear of not being able to measure up can be a significant barrier to excellence. The more frequently that students see other work being publicly appraised and, and used to support everyone's uh, attainment with zero judgement the more likely they are to put their best effort forward in the first place. And it also demonstrates the possible when you showcase outstanding written work to so show students what's correct, possible and how they can replicate success. Students will see that exceptional work is not just within the abilities of the teacher but of their peers also. When combined with a supportive culture this means that students will want to match and exceed the possible. The evidence tells us that this will build students self-efficacy, their belief that they can be successful at a task in the future. But in order for us to see any of these benefits, we really do need to get the culture of show call right. There are a few ways that we can do this, um, uh, you know, a few things that we can do to make sure that this happens. So first thing is that we need to explain the purpose. If students understand in explicit terms that a show call is not a punitive exercise, but rather a way of improving everyone's work as a team, they are less likely to view it negatively. Which leads us on to you know, the idea of you need to be positive. Show call can seem really intimidating to teachers and students at first, but when done right, show call is an incredibly positive uh, classroom practice and can become a sought after reward for quality work. As with cold call, a show call should never be a gotcha exercise or an opportunity to shame a student who's been off task. Rather, the teacher should communicate to students through words or through tone or positive body language that show call is a tool that is designed to help them succeed. We should also be systematic. Every student should feel like they are eligible for a show call. When it comes, students should not feel like they're being singled out or punished. It should feel like a genuine invitation to a discussion about their written work. Over time, students come to view it as the way we do things here. Which leads us on to the idea of uh, show call needing to be predictable. So in the same way that you alert students to a cold call by saying cold call coming in 10 seconds, you need to let students know that a show call is coming. This increases rigour and accountability, participation and think ratio and ultimately reduces that anxiety as I said earlier. We've also got to make sure that we maintain a positive or neutral tone. A positive or neutral tone in response to students' mistakes normalises error and makes students less reluctant to hand over their work to you. Also, delivering precise praise is really important and you can do this by giving praise that highlights concrete bite-sized actions that students can replicate. Saying, I loved the vocabulary that you used during the final scene of your story is not really as helpful as, I love how you used words like gleamed and spacious to help me picture the scene in my mind. The following clip demonstrates those principles in action. Okay, Lucas, in a second I'm going to take your work. I'm just going to put it under the visualiser because I think everyone can learn from it. Okay, well done. So just 
carry on working, I'll come back and get it. Why well, well, In a second I'm going to take your work, put it onto the visualiser so we can all learn from it. Alright, well done, thank you, keep working. Great hard work. Okay, we're going to get ready to check and change in about 10 seconds, getting your green pens ready. Nice and high up in the air. This is my green pen. Lovely, okay. Uh, I'm going to take Lucas's work and I'm going to take Wiles' work. Thank you very much for sharing. Now, we remember we use show call in this school because it's a way for everybody to improve together. We are a team in this classroom. So, as well as establishing a strong culture around show call, it's really important that the work you choose is best placed to support global improvement. So, you could display a model of excellence. In this type of show call, a teacher spotlights work that is complete, accurate, and in some cases, exemplary. This is a great example of how to show rather than tell. It's a useful way to establish a positive culture around show call. Alternatively, you could display a common error. So this is uh, great for reteaching or facilitating deep error excavation and strengthening critical thinking. Alternatively, you could display some good to great work. Good to great work show calls are a positive, motivating way to normalise better, support lower and middle prior attainers and stretch students whose written work is already good. During this type of show call, the teacher strives to strike for a greater balance between positive and constructive feedback. All of this really helps our students to develop their metacognitive strategies, so their ability to and their understanding of how to plan, monitor and evaluate their own work independently. Over time, show call helps students to independently plan for improvement in subsequent pieces of work. You can support development of this skill by asking questions such as, how could you use this example of work to plan for the improvements of your own? Reviewing work in such a systematic way also supports students with their independent monitoring. So having the process of appraising work modelled to them in a consistent way almost every single lesson means that over time those students monitor and appraise their own work independently. Finally, asking students why an example is so excellent helps them to evaluate the effectiveness of their own learning. You could ask, why is this so good? Why do you think you didn't include it in yours? So, in the following clip, we're going to show you um, a comparison between an example of excellence and a piece of work exhibiting a common error. And that's going to be done under the visualiser to support the global improvement of that particular error. So, I want you to be checking and changing as I go through. First of all, let us look at this food essay. I'm going to point out the bits that I really like about it. So, to start off, we have here... Pour commencer notre sujet, je dirais que. Pour commencer notre sujet, je dirais que. I'm just going to grab my green pen and we're going to change that. Pour commencer notre sujet, je dirais que. I really like this essay phrase and I think it was a big next step making sure we've got those essay phrases in there. So at the bottom of this work, I would like, I'm going to write it out again and you are going to add it into your work. It means to begin our topic. Pour commencer notre sujet. Well done, Lucas. I think that was a really, really great choice to do that. So you add that into your work now. To begin our topic. And Yael, you're going to now talk me through that next step with this piece of work. Everybody tracking, making sure that we all help one another. What do you need to put at the beginning of your essay to make sure that it is more successful? Okay, and what about this here, this essay phrase here? Can you read it out for me, please? Pour. Good. Good lad, well done. Pour commencer notre sujet. Lucas, what does that mean again? To begin our topic, lovely. Okay, I'm now going to read the beginning of each of these bullet points and we're going to turn and talk in a second, so thank you for tracking. Bullet point two, we have récemment. Bullet point three, we have dans le futur. What are they examples of? Turn and talk. Perfect, can we track uh, Crystal? They're examples of time markers. That was a general next step for everybody. Go through your work with your green pen, please, and add in those time markers. 
Ultimately, what's most important is that show call should be used in a way that supports students with improving the quality of their work. So if you're displaying a model of excellence, students should be improving or correcting a certain section or sections of their work using the example that you've shown them and your narration for guidance. If you are displaying good to great work, students should be answering cold call questions about how to improve the displayed work before taking their own work from good to great. If you're displaying a common error, students should find examples of that error and then by listening to you and your narration, they should look at the error being fixed under the visualizer and then fix it in their own work. To finish off, let's see the whole thing in action from start to finish. Okay, Lucas, in a second, I'm gonna take your work. I'm just gonna put it under the visualizer because I think everyone can learn from it. Okay, well done. So just carry on working, I'll come back and get it. Well, well, in a second, I'm gonna take your work under the visualizer so we can all learn from it all right well done thank you keep working great hard work okay we're going to get ready to check and change in about 10 seconds getting your green pens ready nice and high up in the air this is my green pen lovely okay uh, i'm going to take lucas's work and i'm going to take wiles work thank you very much for sharing now we remember we use show call in this school because it's a way for everybody to improve together. We are a team in this classroom. So I want you to be checking and changing as I go through. First of all, let us look at this food essay. I'm going to point out the bits that I really like about it. So to start off, we have here, pour commencer notre sujet, je dirais que, Pour commencer notre sujet, je dirais que. I'm just going to grab my green pen and we're going to change that. Pour commencer notre sujet, je dirais que. I really like this essay phrase and I think it was a big next step, making sure we've got those essay phrases in there. So at the bottom of this work, I would like, I'm going to write it out again and you are going to add it into your work. It means to begin our topic. Pour commencer notre sujet. Well done, Lucas. I think that was a really, really great choice to do that. So you add that into your work now to begin our topic. And while you're going to now talk me through that next step with this piece of work, everybody tracking, making sure that we all help one another. What do you need to put at the beginning of your essay to make sure that it is more successful? Okay, and what about this here, this essay phrase here? Can you read it out for me, please? Pour Good. Good lad, well done. Pour commencer notre sujet. Lucas, what does that mean again? To begin our topic. Lovely. Okay, I'm now going to read the beginning of each of these bullet points and we're going to turn and talk in a second, so thank you for tracking. Bullet point two, we have récemment. Bullet point three, we have dans le futur. What are they examples of? Turn and talk. Perfect. Can we track uh, Crystal? They're examples of time markers. That was a general next step for everybody. Go through your work with your green pen, please, and add in those time markers. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and share and we look forward to seeing you soon.